Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online video. So with the release of the Los Santos tuners we have a lot of sports cars. But the two we're going to be taking a look at are the Dinka Jester RR and the Karen Coleco GTF. Why? Well, because they cost pretty much the same, are of the same class and are in the same content update. So, which is better of the two? Well, the answer is not quite so simple, for a few reasons, but before we get to that, let's first mod them to the max. So there's a few things that you need to keep in mind about both cars. The Coleco is a four-wheel drive compared to the Jester's real-wheel drive. This immediately puts the Coleco ahead of the two simply because four-wheel drive is better, at least for getting from A to B faster. And in real life this would be the deciding factor if both cars had the same engine, similar aerodynamics, etc. But this is GTA, and GTA does weird stuff. Handling wise, I would have to say that the Jester is much, much better than the Coleco despite four wheel drive usually being better overall for grip. However, in the world of GTA, this four wheel drive car really seems to suffer from understeer quite a lot, especially when going off road. The car is more difficult than you might think to rotate it on a vertical axis to point it where you want the car to go, which isn't a problem for the Jester. Even using the handbrake to forcefully spin the car in the right direction can be difficult at times in the Coleco. The Jester, however, it's not a problem. The sports car is very easy to handle on the road and off the tarmac. But what about on the road? Well, low speed, I would have to give points to the Coleco for great handling and fast acceleration off the line. The Jester is still very good, but I think the Coleco feels just a little bit better at low speeds. High speeds, both the cars are about the same, except for when the Coleco has to take a corner. I feel like it wants to understeer a bit too much for my liking. But that's just me. Raw speed, however, this is where things take a huge spin. Also, for the first time, we're going to be comparing both cars against each other, both with and without the stancing lowered. The results are rather interesting. Take a look at the results of both cars during a basic runway drag test. So without stancing, both cars were very similar in terms of straight line performance, with the four wheel drive of the Coleco giving it a definitive advantage from the start. Let's now see how both the cars compare when they are of a lowered stance. Thee thigh tho thumb, it sounds like a giant troll is chasing after your car as you drive the Coleco at unbelievable speeds because of the lowered stancing, causing the car to collide with the ground repeatedly, causing something very similar to that of a glitched car. It's basically scraping the ground every so often, causing a slight boost in speed every time you hear a small thump. It's very weird, but I'm sure regular viewers of GTA videos will at least know what I'm getting at. Depending on the road you're on, you can get some pretty tremendous speed making this one of the fastest cars in the game. And yes, it beats the pariah. So for those paying attention, yes, this yellow Coleco driven by a friend was going 
way faster than the rest of us, and what's surprising is the fact that the car wasn't even equipped with all the best performance mods. So in an effort to try and emulate his car's performance, I tried many different tests from changing to the same wheels and parts, to the same performance mods, and even fiddling around with the frame rate in which the game runs. Unfortunately, after numerous tests, I was unable to emulate his car's level of performance, and no, he wasn't using mods. It may have been some glitch or something to do with his computer and his game that we've yet to figure out, but in the meantime, at least we know that the Coleco has the potential to go even faster. Overall, which of these would I say is better? Well, I think even with the slight handling difficulties, the raw speed and acceleration make the Coleco the clear choice for me if I had to decide one or the other. At least if pure speed was what I was desiring. For literally anything else, like say, drifting, I think you'd be pretty stupid to go for the Coleco if you want to go sideways. But hey, let me know what you guys think about the two cars, have you bought any of them? Let us know in the comments and I will see you in the next video. See you around, folks.